Hi, my name is Tim, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to diagnose a faulty inducer motor, or sometimes referred to as a combustion air blower motor, on a gas furnace. Now, to begin with, we need to click the system selector switch on the thermostat to the heat position. This will also turn up the temperature setting of the thermostat above the room temperature. After each step, be sure to refer to the procedure guide on the top. So we're going to click OK here. Next, we need to remove the cover from the furnace. Now, once you do this, the door switch located right here, down at the bottom right here, is going to open its contacts and break power to the furnace. So it's going to be necessary to tape this door switch in. So if we click on this little orange rectangle here, that will place a piece of tape over the door switch, ensuring that its contacts are closed. Again, click OK on the procedure guide. Our next step is to evaluate if the inducer comes on or not. Now, the inducer is the first component that should start once the thermostat calls for heat. And as we can see here, the inducer is not running. Uh, if it's running, you would be able to hear it, and you'd also see these blue arrows spinning. So we're going to click no that the inducer is not running. Now, prior to taking some voltage readings, let's narrow our focus to the possible causes of this malfunction. And to do that, I'm going to pull out this wiring diagram here in the bottom left. And I click on that, it opens the diagram. Well, our inducer could be faulty, or it's possible we don't have power to the furnace. It's also possible we have a faulty transformer that's not providing 24 volts. And last but not least, it's possible that we have a faulty thermostat. So we're going to check each one of these. Temporarily, I'm going to store the wiring diagram. And we're going to take our first step. We're going to measure for 120 volts at the line voltage and neutral inputs to the IFC, or Integrated Furnace Control. Click on your leads and drop them on the orange hotspot. So here's our line voltage connection. And another lead gets placed on the neutral block over here. Now we've got 120 volts, so this verifies we do have power coming to the IFC. Uh, just a note here, a lot of IFCs have indicator lights or status lights, and you may be able to shortcut this particular step here by just looking if the light is on, and that would verify that 120 is being received at the IFC. So now that we've got 120 volts there and we verified that we do have power coming in, uh, through the door switch to the IFC. We're going to click yes on our procedure guide and our next step is to measure at the low voltage terminal strip over here on the left of the IFC. Now if we place the leads across R and C, what we're essentially doing here is verifying that the transformer is sending 24 volts back to the IFC and to these terminals on this terminal strip. And we do have 24 volts, so this verifies our transformer is good. So we're going to click yes here at the top on the procedure guide. Our next step is to simply move the red lead from the red terminal to the white terminal. And this will verify if we have 24 volts coming back from the thermostat. And we do have 24 volts. So this verifies the thermostat is closed and it's sending the 24 volts back to the IFC. So we're going to click yes on the procedure guide. Now we need to look at the inducer motor. We know it's not running. We're going to check power to it at this point. It's possible that the inducer motor is faulty, or it's possible that the IFC is faulty, and it's just not sending power to the inducer when it should be. So we're going to place our leads at the connection points at the inducer, again, sometimes referred to as a combustion air blower. And we can see we have 120 volts here, yet the motor's not running. Uh, at this point, you're going to need to replace the inducer motor. You can do a quick resistance check uh, to verify that maybe the windings are open. So we do have 120 volts here. We're going to click yes. And at this point, click on the inducer and replace it. Congratulations, you fixed the problem. Now, after replacing the inducer, it's going to be necessary to observe one full cycle of operation to make sure everything's working correctly. And also, you're going to want to go up to the space and just verify that warm air is being delivered to the space. And we can confirm that by looking at this floor register here. And with the graphic, we can see we do have warm air coming out of the register. Good luck on your future service calls, and I'll see you back here soon. Thanks for watching. You can try our on demand VR enabled learning for HVAC by signing up for a free trial. Go to interplaylearning.com to get started.